Hi and welcome to North East Live. I'm Katie Andrews. Coming up in the programme, to one of our top stories, British Steel has entered insolvency, putting 700 North East jobs at risk. And the plan is to try and find a new buyer to make sure that we maintain the longevity and the security of the 700 jobs, both at, here in Lackenby and at Skinning Grove in East Cleveland in Teesside. We'll be hearing from Sunderland manager Jack Ross as they prepare for that all-important playoff final on Sunday. And it will be judged as being successful or unsuccessful by a lot of people whether or not we win the game this weekend. And it's all about the cake. We meet local legend Angela, who's made it her life's work to make the best region's desserts. That's all still to come now, though. It's time for your 60-second news update. And first, tributes are being paid to the victims of the Manchester bombing on the second anniversary of the attack. 22 people were killed after the Ariana Grande concert in 2017, including four from our region. The families of Chloe Rutherford and Liam Curry have thanked the people of South Tyneside, which has turned pink and blue in their memory. While in Gateshead, people are being asked to wear blue for 32-year-old Philip Tron and 19-year-old Courtney Boyle. Next, a record number of Tynesiders have had their say on controversial plans to impose a clean air toll. More than 19,000 people completed a survey on the changes. Council bosses in Newcastle, Gateshead and North Tyneside now have to make a huge decision on how to cut air pollution before 2021. And finally, they are the elections no one thought would happen, but polling booths open on Thursday for the elections to the European Parliament. Voters will choose three MEPs to represent the North East from seven political parties. This is despite the UK schedule to leave the EU on Halloween. And with that, those were your news headlines. It's time now for North East Live from around the region.